Please, kids, don't try this at home. Hey, what's up, everybody? Coming back to you real quick. I have a tube of cannabis oil in front of me, or other than know it is Rick Simpson oil. Golden ticket. Actually tested 85%. That's why I'm making this video. I'm going to go ahead and go through and show everybody everything that it is that I do to make this oil. Um, this oil is extremely medicinal, good for most pains, for reasons to have your medical marijuana card. This oil is one of the most medicinal ways that you can consume cannabis, is consuming it orally. Um, there is obviously medicinal value to smoking as well, but eating cannabinoids is definitely one of the most medicinal ways that you can do it for sure. So what I have in front of me here is a PIC in induction cooktop. That's going to be our heat source later on in the thing. Uh, we also have an oil distiller. Um, you can also use a water distiller. I've chose the stainless steel because it looks a little tougher. We have some funnels here, some Everclear, just showing you the brand that I use. Um, more or less may be used depending on what you're planning to do, um, the amount that you're planning to run. Coffee filters, Pyrex, syringes, um, the syringes are for packaging, 331 grams of ACDC bud, extra bucket, a couple different kind of strainers. Take a look at the bud here. This is ACDC. This is supposed to be a 20 to 1 ratio of CBD to THC. What we have in here is a whole plant, 331 grams whole plant extract. All the stems and leaf that I left on is 100% medicinal and covered in trichomes. There wouldn't be any other reason for me to leave it on. No doubt about it. Definitely was looking very, very good. All right. Anybody else want to be able to have a reference to the list? Cannabis oil, Everclear, distiller, funnels. Filters, I've chosen the number six filters because of the size of my funnels. Pyrex, wooden spoon, the strainers, the ACDC 331 grams, syringes, and two buckets. So the first step of this is going to be freeze most of the stuff. Freeze the buckets, freeze the funnels, freeze the filters, freeze the spoon, the spoon, freeze the strainer. I'm only going to be using one, I put two, um, and freeze the marijuana. And I did not put on there the Everclear. Alright, real quick. Bam, freeze the Everclear also. I'm going to take and leave this in there anywhere from at least 4 hours to 24 hours. Come back to you with the next step. So it's probably it's probably pretty important that I mention um, this first RSO that I showed here was actually a 85% THC and today we're not going to be creating THC oil we're trying to create CBD oil um, THC and CBD oil you can make both the same but the marijuana that is being used is high in CBD not THC but you could take marijuana that's high in THC and make this entire process the same which we will be doing. Okay, here we are back. I just so happen to have this little freezer which we're gonna do the majority of the work in. All my alcohol frozen, spoon frozen, marijuana frozen. It's uh, very important to put in the video that is very crucial that the marijuana is bone dry before starting the process of freezing. This has all been in here for 24 hours and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the Everclear start with a lower amount just dousing everything the best that I can give a little bit of consciousness to know that I am making a video here so this you know would be a little bit more consistently poured and other things if I wasn't making the video so that was a full plant uh, the ACDC grows very very larfy very very ugly plant to grow totally made for medicine 
So we're gonna do the first half gallon there. We're gonna just go ahead and start taking and smashing everything down. Really, really good. So everything's in here floating pretty good. Good amount of Everclear to alcohol ratio. It's really hard to see with all the steam. Pull it out of here for a minute so we can get a better idea. So it's about 331 grams of ACDC. It's matched down pretty good. Um, no particular amount of alcohol is necessary. You just want it to be constantly swimming. And after you get it to this point, I'm going to set it back into the freezer. You just want to keep on stirring. Or, you know, I like to turn on the music and let it play for two or three songs stirring. I leave it in the freezer and then I let it sit for another five to ten minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So for the next step, we'll be filtering. I'll be taking the container here and the substance and I will be bringing it to there. Can't really do it on video while holding the camera. Don't have a tripod. But that is the, the next step. Now with that we have the cannabis in the strainer. We're going to want to try to get as much of the juice out as possible. Any way that you feel necessary to try to get as much of this out of the material as you can is probably a reasonable method. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to put something flat over the top of the surface and just really push hard. If I had some kind of a press, I would definitely use it. And I want to try to do it within the next couple minutes while it's still ice cold. You can do this step in the freezer. After you got it all smushed down, a good amount of the alcohol out, go ahead and go through. What I like to do when I pour through, I'm gonna ha I have this extra half of a half gallon. I'm gonna slowly pour through this trim, just so I can try to get anything extra. Because the more, the better. I'm gonna do that with the rest of this half gallon. Okay, back. Got our concentrate, nice and beautiful, beautiful golden color, as everybody can see. All nug run. Got, my, got our filters set up with our funnels in Everclear bottles. Um, something I forgot to list at the beginning, we will need this pour spout to pour the concentrate to filter out more of the big particles from the filter. Um, this is not necessary, you know, I guess you could just take that and tip it up. Originally I had a uh, a much bigger size one I was going to filter it into but the bud broke down so far I was easily able to filter in this trying to use all food grade everything equipment um, once this filter or once this process is all done I'm also going to be cleaning out this freezer 100% because I accidentally stuck the spoon in there and spilled a couple little weed flakes everywhere and every time that happens I just go through and just thaw it out and start over again so that will be what I'll be doing afterwards but until then we're just going to go through and you can just see it just has beautiful, beautiful golden color. So obviously, you know, the closer you are to the filter, the better. Which I should have put it a little closer. Um, there's a lot of things that can go wrong in this step when you're going to pour. It's very easy. Sorry, I'm not showing everything. Very easy to miss. And because I miss, after I get done with this entire filtering process through here, which could take a few hours, I will also double filter it all once again, just to make sure there's no particles in whatsoever. And this freezer actually sits at negative 30 degrees, so I'm very fortunate for that. So negative 30 degrees. Okay, we're looking into the Everclear right now. Beautiful, beautiful golden color. Here in a minute, we're gonna pour this into the distiller. I got about a gallon and three quarters back. Lost about a quarter of a gallon, or a quarter of a half a gallon of Everclear. So I got about a half a gallon back and then three quarters of another half gallon. I'm gonna pour this into the distiller, turn the distiller on, and get her up to a boil. Got the oil here in the distiller, double filtered. So I went through the filtering process twice to make sure there was no small particles, as you can see. Very much so contaminant free. It had a beautiful golden color. Beautiful golden color. So now we got it poured in there. And one handed here. Pop on the lid. Insert the tip, 
A little easier said than done with the motherfucking video going on. There we go. Got the tip in, so the alcohol will evaporate off, boil off at anywhere from 160 to 190, depending on you know where you're looking it up. And the cannabinoids actually activate at a range from 240 to 280. So this is a water distiller, so it's made to get up to the boiling point of water or oil, and it's gonna boil it off, it's gonna activate most of the cannabinoids in the oil, and we will get all of our, not all, but the majority of our Everclear back. And this is a safe method. Up here we have the fan running, which helps cool the vapor, turn the alcohol back into liquid, into there. So this will probably take an hour, maybe an hour and a half. What I'm gonna keep doing is checking on it. And once it starts getting low and I can see the bubbles are getting bigger, uh, we're gonna to wanna to get it out of this thing. At this point, it's been a little bit over two and a half hours. Got about that much alcohol so far distilled. Process is going pretty well. Set the camera down just a second. Open this up. As you can see, just about all empty. Very, very golden and beautiful. We're going to pour this out into the Pyrex safely and put it onto the precision induction cooktop. Got the PIC set to 125, oil on it, come back when it's a little thinner, or when it's a little thicker, it's a little too thin at the moment. Okay everybody, coming back to you, it's been about 24 hours, most of the bubbles have cleared off, um, it's looking like, um, I, I pre-weighed the Pyrex, so I know just about how much oil is in there, it's looking like I got a pretty low return. Um, you know, the bud was really larfy that I used. It's going to be about 20 grams of RSO here. Hopefully what should be high CBD RSO. Um, I'm hoping to activate some of the trichomes further. So I've go ahead and cranked it up to 250. Um, we're going to leave it there until all the bubbles persist. And then we will be syringing this up. So as you can see, there's no more bubbles. I almost straight up forgot I was making a video. I started syringing them, dumbass. Got some of them already syringed up here. What I go ahead and do is I fill them up to the one mil mark on the syringe. Those are all one mil syringes um, for individual dosing. Gonna finish syringing these up. We're gonna get it tested and come back with the results. Here we go. Just got my testing back. Those are the numbers. Came back 68% CBD, 8% THC, CBC, total cannabinoids, 78 percentage. Pretty good, not too bad. Got my uh, new packaging and label right here. Um, right now we'll throw in the real test result. And uh, you know, there's probably a lot of unanswered questions, bits and pieces that I may have missed in the video. You know, feel free to leave your comment in the comment section. I'll try to let you know. Um, one of the things I know for sure I missed out in the video was the amount of Everclear used, and the total amount of Everclear used for this video was one gallon, using two half gallons. I ended up losing about a half a gallon on it um, while making the RSO. I think because I was making the video when I was actually beating the material up, whipping it, I think I may have needed to do it a little longer, you know, being that it's in a freezer, you know, it's always better to beat it a little bit, you know, stirring it up a little bit too much than not enough. And I may think that might have contributed to my low result as far as yield. Um, normally when I make an RSO, 
I get anywhere from 10 up to 15% return, and that's by whipping the material good, and I don't think you know, I was able to achieve that this time. But we were able to achieve some very, very high quality medicine. This is one of the syringes. Very hard for me to get it to focus. But as you can see, it is very much so see-through, golden, golden, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful golden. Those ones I'm saving here for the sup myself. These ones will be going to the dispensary. Um, I appreciate everybody who stuck around and watched the video. Stuck around, stayed, subscribed to my new channel, to the channel. You know, thank you to all the new subscribers out there and all the old loyal ones. You know, it's been a long time I know since I made a video. It's it's kind of hard sometimes to make video when there's other people out there making such high quality content. You know, it's hard for me to keep up. You know, some of my favorite growers to watch. You know, Mr. Tight and Sub LBC and Vader OG. I mean, Vader's content is just it's so high quality makes me have to fucking strive to try to keep up so um, this is it for you guys everybody hopefully we'll be doing more videos in the future thank you very much for everything please leave a comment like the photo share any and everything is appreciated thank you all again stay the fuck up and peace the fuck out